Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Sky Lounge Podcast, episode number 181. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music. And also check out at the Sky Lounge on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Without further ado, let's get shit started with episode number 181, The Demonic Veil of Darkness. Teetering on the edge, Yin. So, the Rayshard Brooks incident. We discussed the Rayshard Brooks shooting on yesterday's episode of the podcast, right? Episode number 180. Where, in that episode, I laid out the facts of the case and showed how each and every step of the fucking way, Rayshard Brooks was in the wrong. Yeah, Rayshard Brooks is a fucking criminal. Right? Was, because that motherfucker is dead, deservedly. And Officer Garrett Rolf and Officer Devin Brosnan were the two officers involved in the incident and were essentially thrown under the bus by the city of Atlanta. Straight up. These officers were scapegoats for whatever this fucking circus act bullshit that's going on in the city of Atlanta. It's embarrassing. And in an article by Q13 Fox... It lists the entire story. It kind of goes through the details of what happened with the DA. And I'm going to read it to you. Fulton County DA Paul Howard announced that former Atlanta police officer Garrett Rolf is facing 11 charges, including felony murder. Multiple counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, first degree criminal damage to property, and two counts of violating his oath as a public officer. Officer Devin Brosnan has been charged with a count of aggravated assault and two counts of violating his oath of office. He is not cooperating with the district attorney's office as a witness. Howard said it may be the first time ever an Atlanta police officer has testified against a fellow officer in the same department, noting that he was almost shocked Brosnan agreed to do so. If convicted, Rolf could be sentenced to either life in prison without parole or the death penalty. This Paul Howard is a fucking piece of shit. Okay. You are a goddamn race-baiting fucking moron. And every goddamn negative stereotype of a lawyer. You are a fucking scumbag, dude. Alright? And here's the thing. Let me say this shit out loud and clear for all you goddamn retards in the back. Rayshard Brooks was a fucking criminal scumbag. And the officers who got fucked by the city of Atlanta deserve better than this shit. This is unbelievable. Like, if you actually care about law and order and justice in this world, you should be fucking livid at this shit. This is absolutely the worst fucking thing I've ever seen. As somebody who studied legal, the legal system back in fucking high school, who's been keeping an eye out on the, all this shit that's going around the world, who studied business, who no, understands how fucking money works and shit. And I still have to study. I still have to fucking learn every day. And you know what? In the midst of that, you find out that, oh my God, people are fucking scumbags. Like the motherfuckers who run Atlanta. Holy shit, man. Here's the thing. I'm sure many officers in the Atlanta Police Department will go ahead and just not show up. And they didn't. Some of them in Fulton County just called out. Like, <laughs> good. In my eyes, good. Don't show up. Why the fuck does your fucking life equate to being sacrificed for a political fucking movement? For a fucking political statement? Yet, it's a fucking political maneuver to gain some fucking power. That's all this shit is. I mean, cops nationwide are being poisoned at fast food places, getting falsely accused of crimes when in reality they're just doing their jobs and getting blamed for literally all the fucking perceived evils in the world. That's what's happening right now, man. It's absolutely fucking disgusting. And, and you know what? In the city of Atlanta, I know the fucking cunt you can point to right now. Keisha Lance Bottoms fucking god dude mayor of atlanta keisha lance bottoms 
is a disgusting fucking scumbag who shows more of her illiteracy in a fucking press conference than her fucking backbone. You're a fucking scumbag, dude. All right? Your group of political thugs, whatever the fuck you call your goddamn posse of assholes, all right? Basically destroy two good men's lives. All right? And you know what? These guys might, might not be perfect. But they're police officers risking their fucking lives every goddamn day for essentially no fucking money at all for what they do. And this is how you repay them? This is how you're going to just fucking fuck law enforcement, you piece of shit? All for what? All for what? So you could keep climbing up that proverbial fucking political ladder? Huh? Like, you're utter fucking putrid human fucking trash, you fucking cunt. <laughs> Even if you fucking did climb up, you goddamn bitch. All right? You're going to fucking fail because of your goddamn incompetence. And you're going to say, oh, everyone's racist. No, you fucking cunt. It's not because you're black. It's because you're a dumb fucking moron that wants to step on people's lives for what? For what? A marginal pay raise, you fucking idiot. Keisha Lance Bottoms. You are a cunt and a black supremacist. Congratulations on fucking your own city. What's the governor doing in all this shit? Nothing. This is the dumbest fucking shit I've ever seen. Like, cities are literally coming apart because of incompetent politicians. These competitions keep, these politicians keep telling you, oh, we're here for you. Black lives matter. We don't want the police in anywhere or anywhere involved in, with you guys. We just want peace for all. Huh? How does that work? How does that work? Less police equals more peace? How, how, how does that work? Crime runs rampant in your city of Atlanta, statistically proven, despite the fact that, yeah, over the last 10 years you might have dropped, but it's still a fucking cesspool of crime, motherfucker. And you're going to try to defund the police in a city like that? Like, I'm not going to lie to you, man. Before this fucking recording, I was on this fucking channel, uh, the Broadcastify, is that right? The, the fucking website that has ra live radio on? And several fucking police stations in Fulton County, dead. Radio silence. Nothing. Oh, and guess what's probably going to happen in those areas today? Lots of crimes. Lots of bullshit happening. Because the mayor, Keisha Lance Bottoms, is a fucking incompetent cunt and a black supremacist who wants to destroy this country. And I've said this multiple times, man. Fund the fucking police. Fund the police! Because without them, there is no law and order. And chaos just fucking... <sighs> covers the streets. And you know what? This pattern has shown itself consistently over the last few weeks. But you retards, you fucking brain-dead cocksuckers, you goddamn Bolshevik LARPing douchebags, all right? Keep telling yourself, ah, oh, this isn't, this isn't a thing. This is, this is all a revolution for the greater good of this country. What, to become a fucking communist hellhole? Jesus, fuck, dude. You keep convincing yourselves this is the best course of action for this country. Putting the fear of fucking hell in everyone the silent majority and everybody in this fucking country you are fucking poisoning the narrative of what police officers actually do and you know what police officers actually do they do the most trivial fucking task that this community or any goddamn community in the united states don't want to fucking do they do the extra work for you lazy cocksuckers okay and i'm not gonna lie to you man I'm not going to fucking sit here and tell you that, oh, I'm an upstanding citizen. I do everything for the police. No, I'm a selfish piece of shit too. I don't really do much. 
But you know what? I can recognize what the fucking police are doing. They're doing everything to uphold every goddamn community to the highest standard and safety possible. Yet you motherfuckers are out there saying defund the police, abolish the police, fuck the police. They killed everybody. Every police is evil. You brain dead fucking morons are going to destroy this country. You need to fucking stop this shit right now, motherfuckers. Is that a threat? That's just logic laid out in front of you, dipshit. Just because somebody's fucking yelling at you doesn't mean they're threatening you, you fucking pussy. How the fuck did this country get so fucking soft? Oh, you hurt my feelings. I can't be first place. Oh, I, I can't put in 10th work, but I should get first place. You entitled sacks of shit. Go kill yourself right now. Do it. That's bullying. Just fucking do it. Do it. If your self-esteem is that low that you got to fucking blame all the shit out on everybody else and not look at yourself, not have some introspection in your life, you should go fucking kill yourself because you are absolutely useless in society. Fuck you. I am so goddamn sick of this shit, man. I, I am just done. I'm done. And what I what I mean by being done, I'm done being nice. I'm, I'm, I'm done being nice. I'm done fucking holding you fucking leftist hands, man. I'm done with that shit. I did that shit for years. And you know what? You know what ended up? Me being a fucking moron and having to learn the hard way that mm -mm, life is more than this bullshit. Bolshevik bullshit. And kids, it is my humble opinion. That I lay these talks in front of you. Because I know I'm an idiot. Man. I'm never, I'm never going to fucking sit here and tell you that I'm better than you. No. I'm a moron. I'm just saying my piece. But I'm saying my piece based on research, observation, reading, researching, doing all this shit to form my own opinions. And you know what? I used to say that a lot, but I didn't actually do it. Nowadays, I actually fucking do it. If you want fucking proof, look at my goddamn web browser history. Ah, that's disgusting. I don't give a fuck. I got Pornhub Premium on that shit. Fucking open that shit up, motherfucker. I don't need no goddamn fucking proxy shit. Fuck you. Look that shit up. Pornhub.com. Premium account. I hold that shit proud, man. You know why? I got nothing to hide. Unlike you fucking pussies. And here's my thing. I believe there is a witch hunt led by the far left-wing Bolshevik LARPers, Hollywood celebrities, entitled American athletes, the Democratic Party to continually ostracize police officers and push the defund the police propaganda further. Why? To plunge the United States into further chaos and continually impede the progress of this great nation. Just look at each and every step these motherfuckers have been a part of, man. Think about it. Think about Black Lives Matter. Think about COVID-19. All this shit, the media has been just fucking pushing that goddamn fear in your hearts. They have been pushing that shit to your fucking brain. They have terrified you to go do your own research. They have become a cult in themselves. They have indoctrinated you into their train of thought. So when they say, you should be scared, you are terrified. They control you with fear, man. I said this yesterday. They control you with fear. And you know how you break out of that fear? Arm yourself with knowledge. Educate yourself. Man. Because really, I mean, I've said this multiple times, man. The chaos in the world today is no accident. Okay? Let me repeat that shit again. The chaos in the world today is no accident. Accident, motherfucker. These are manufactured chaos that are being pulled by puppet masters who want more puppets to string along, more power, more money, and more control. Okay? News networks, celebrities, athletes, politicians, and people who you have never met before are just manipulating everything in the current social wave of events. Think about it. Think about it. Did you see that goddamn celebrity clip of trying to 
end systemic racism? And they were all acting in front of a fucking camera. Saying bullshit that isn't even backed up by numbers. They are fucking putting fear porn in your fucking brain. And you motherfuckers, you goddamn slave motherfuckers are jacking off to that shit and crying yourselves into fear. You goddamn pussies, you. Who are these they people you keep saying? You keep fucking umbrelling these motherfuckers, but who's they? These assholes have many names. Democrats, Deep State, Cabal, Satanists, Freemason. You fucking name it, man. They got plenty of goddamn names. Oh, fucking conspiracy shit again. Listen, dude. At this point, if you want to call it conspiracy, that's totally fine with me. Okay. But live in ignorance. Live in fear. Live to follow. But I would highly, highly recommend you to seek the truth. Okay. Do your own research. And have multiple resources and sources, if possible, to look for that information. And while you're doing your research, open your mind to the possibilities and not the limits. Limits shouldn't exist when you're thinking about shit, when you're fucking trying to, you know, formulate shit. It shouldn't fucking exist. Think of the possibilities, right? And follow where the money goes and comes from. That's all I have to tell you. And you can keep telling me, you know, conspiracy shit doesn't matter. It's all a lie. But when there are fucking blatant paperworks in the age of information and you can fucking see it for yourself, it's not a lie anymore then, kiddo. It's called a cover-up. And the left-wing, Bolshevik, LARPing, Democrat, Hollywood, fucking, entitled celebrity, athlete, motherfuckers, all those fucking people who you have never met before are part of this control system, man. It is the global elites who wish to frame every human being in a perfect peg while cutting off what they see as dead wood. Freedom of speech, democracy, law enforcement, gun possession, liberty, free thought, and every ideology the United States of America stands for. Hmm, what do you think that's called? That's called terrorism. Surprise, kids. Each and every step of the way, when someone stands up and speaks out for what's right, society has now been programmed to lash out against such individuals. You motherfuckers are like Pavlov's dog. You fucking slave motherfuckers, you. You have been conditioned to just <laughs> bark and lash out at everything that makes America truly great. All right? Because try comparing America's fucking standards of freedom of speech to a lot of other countries in the world. There is nowhere like this country. This is why the United States of America is the greatest fucking country in the world. But every single dipshit motherfuckers think it's not. You really think America is some fascist country that kills black people indiscriminately left and right like the fucking Germans did with the Jews in the fucking 40s? You are sadly mistaken, my friend. As is proven by data, statistics, history, observation, and common sense. But... It's these kinds of stupid hyperbole comparisons that are just swimming around in social media where all these dumbass children are. And because they have no thought of their own, they just swallow that up, adopt it, and they grow up and they rationalize that thought. And you know what? Asshole illiterate fucking celebrities who are also very unintelligent, throws comparisons out like that from time to time. And like, why? Like, what the fuck is the point when they do that shit? Well, they want to fucking tear this goddamn country apart. And you motherfuckers buy into it because what? They started a fucking shitty movie that you liked? Like, you keep telling me like, oh man, 
Trump's a fascist. He's a Nazi. Yeah, man. Fuck you. But is 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 the White House actually, along with Trump, you know, throwing out propaganda, you know, propaganda against the blacks, like Hitler did with the Jews? Is he doing that shit? No. I mean, is he doing that shit with the LGBTQ community? No. You know who's actually doing that? The left! They keep dividing you into these fucking tribes! And you seem to go along with it because it just fucking works! Holy fuck, dude. Like, how... How the fuck do you keep telling yourselves that Trump is against you? He's not. Trump isn't against America. He is the only one that seems to be for this country being great again. All you other motherfuckers right now are trying to destroy this country apart with censorship, with abolishing the police, and what else? What what other bullshit you want to throw in there, huh? Oh, we don't want any any cops. We just have the army tell us what to do. And if we speak out, we should send them to jail. So you want to be like North Korea? Is that what you're telling me? You, you want to be like North Korea? No, that's not it. That's what you're telling me, you socialist communist motherfucker. Historically speaking, that's what happens. And you know what's crazy? If you're South Korean, uh, try to understand your people's history. All right, And, I, and I'll admit, I'll admit, kids. I don't really know South Korea's history all that well. But what I do know is when they switched to democracy, <laughs> a lot of the presidents were fucking corrupt fascist police fucking people. They were terrible. There was a fucking massacre of Korean students in the 80s. That shit's real. My mother actually understood what the hell that was. Yeah, we ignore all that shit and you think Trump is a fucking fascist terrorist president what the fuck are you talking about look at actual history look at the world around you there are actual terrible communist leaders who are destroying their own country in a way but what the fuck what the fuck man it's the fucking news networks celebrities athletes politicians and people who you have never met before under the guise of being liberals trying to brainwashing you into doing their goddamn bidding and destroying this country it's really sad man it's really sad as an immigrant who have li- who has lived in this country for 22 years i find these fucking events just depressing as shit because i know this country isn't a communist bullshit fucking hellhole. This country is a free fucking, I don't know, democracy. It's not perfect, but it works. But all you entitled whiny bitches want to keep telling me like this is the worst country ever. Blah, 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 blah. You're being fucking brainwashed. You are being controlled by people you have never met before, and they are telling you how to feel, telling you what to think, and you are buying into that shit. Yeah. How does it feel? Oh, you're doubting me at this point? All right. Again, keep living in ignorance. Keep living in fear. Live to follow. That's fine. But I'll tell you this, man. The nature of these ominous forces to suppress the masses is always using fear. Fear. This fear would inevitably lead to control of said masses. And dangerous shit happens when you give power to people with all the power and money in the world. Okay? Like taking away your rights, putting your ass in fucking camps, taking your goddamn kids to do God knows what. You keep telling me this isn't happening, but I mean, it's already happened. Oh, they've never taken kids before? What do you call the fucking Obama and the Clinton administration? Hmm? Hmm? 
What do you call all those fucking assholes in Pedo Wood? Hmm? Oh, no, those are all just rumors and conspiracies. All right, dude. All right. If you keep telling me that, I've really lost you to the brainwashing. And if that's the case, I'm just going to keep screaming from the mountaintop. Because I know the truth. I know my truth. And I know that... These evil bastards just need to die. And again, I'm not I'm not a fucking criminal. I'm not gonna go out of my way and do some crime shit because that's fucking dumb. Right? What I do is use the comedy aspect of what I, you know, do on the podcast, you know, using inappropriate and very crude humor to shed light on what's going on, to shed knowledge and you know. That's what I'm hoping. But these evil motherfuckers, man. They're trying to destroy you. Right? I mean, however fucking way these assholes justify the communist utopia, the way this process has been unfolding in front of our eyes just shows how malevolent and malicious these forces truly are. These fuckers got no problem, like no problem in sacrificing people en masse to get what they want. I mean, just look at this entire COVID-19 and BLM movement. Yes, there are certain truths to certain aspect of these things. COVID-19, yeah, real virus. Manufactured, yes, but statistically insignificant disease. It's not a big deal. It's really not. Check the numbers. Check the death. Check the mortality rate relative to the entire uh, numbers of cases uh, tested, studied, observed, and yeah, it'll tell you that flat out it, this is no big deal. Black Lives Matter. Yes, there are awful police officers, but not all of them. Okay, there are evil motherfuckers in anywhere and everywhere, and sometimes they just happen to wear the fucking blue uniform. Is it wrong that black people die in unjust ways? Yes. Is it wrong that, you know, excess use of force can lead to death, accidental death at times? Yes, it is unfortunate. It sucks. But defunding the police and abolishing the police is not the way to do this. It's not. But you brainwash slaves aren't going to question that. You're going to do what the media tells you to do. You're going to Feel what the media tells you to feel. And you're going to just buy into it. Buy into destroying this country. And these evil motherfuckers, man, will bend reality to gain control of everything. It's pure evil. It is. I mean, while we're just trying to live our peaceful lives as human beings in this objective reality of ours, you know, naturally... There are forces of light and dark, right? Dark and light just pulling back and forth and back and forth. And this is where I want to talk about yin and yang. Whoa, man. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure you're, you're, you're sitting there right now and hearing the word yin and yang. Like, whoa, man. Whoa. What's going on? Whoa. Hold on now. How do we get here with the yin and yang talk while we're talking about American politics? What's going on here, man? Well... <clears throat> Let's get started by defining yin and yang. Yin is negative, passive, female principle in nature. That's the definition, um, essentially dark. Yang is positive, active, male principle in nature, light. What does it all mean? Well, kids, we're going to have to continue this discussion tomorrow. I want to leave you with the idea of good and evil, light and dark. Because it does exist. It's a real thing. Okay. And I've actually got some homework for you kids. Oh, a podcast that gives homework. Yes, 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 yes. I'm about to give you some homework. Um, if you guys actually want to check out some real, you know, in-depth, deep state analysis stuff on YouTube, 
check out some of these things here that I'm going to list for you. Young Pharaoh on YouTube. Young Pharaoh on YouTube. He is an absolutely just unbelievably smart dude who has personally for me opened my eyes and, and red pilled me into this dark dank rabbit hole called the truth and this man is extremely knowledgeable can assess information you know very um very well in like palatable portions so i would absolutely recommend young pharaoh um another video that i would strongly recommend is emp lemon's meme theory how donald trump used memes to become president also joe m's q the plan to save the world remastered kids homework 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 it's it's not it's not that long it's a couple of videos i mean in total if you, if you add the young pharaoh like one young pharaoh video emp lemon and joe m uh, Young Pharaoh videos are like two hours long, so that, that's the big chunk there. But all together, you're only looking at about three or four hours of YouTube watching. So it's not a big deal. You motherfuckers sit through goddamn Joe Rogan. You motherfuckers sit through goddamn sports ball like me. So do some goddamn homework for me, all right? So ultimately, there is evil in our world. And it is up to us to arm ourselves with knowledge and bring these fuckers to light. And on the next episode of the Sky Lounge, what does President John, Donald John Trump of the United States of America have to do with yin and yang? We're going to answer that tomorrow, kids. At least to the best of my abilities. All right? All right, motherfuckers. I appreciate you dropping by this episode. Follow me at the Sky Lounge on SoundCloud, iTunes, and Google Music. And also check out at the Sky Lounge on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Till next time, fuck off.